What's up guys, it's Daz here. But you don't really care as we have now highlighted the entire Ridgeland region with all the different shrines. There are seven of them, so if you're here yesterday when I said it was like three or four, I was very clearly wrong. And anyway, once again, as we have done with the entire rest of Hyrule, apart from this blob in the middle in the corner, we're going to go from the southernmost point to the northernmost point and collect all of that is in the shrines and actually doing the shrines and working out how to actually do the shrine quests as we go. So let us begin at the very peak of Satori Mountain. Here we are up by Satori Mountain and we want to be on the southern side of this entire place because that is where the actual shrine is. It is resting up high on the southern side of the mountain, the Marg Latan Shrine. Lovely. Let oh, for a minute, I thought this crew was this crow was stuck here, just dancing around. But okay, right. Let's actually jump into this thing now, shall we? Yes. Sink swing. This place is all about magnesis and your ability to use it successfully. That was not successfully. Should we try again? Oh, and then. Uh, okay. So what you need to do is, you saw that one swinging, we need to now duplicate the effect. So that we can actually use it. Ooh, that's a, that's a, that's a friggity one. There we go, lovely. Little concerning. Now the next step, we have a drawbridge. You can see it's kind of like a, it feels like this is Kung Fu Panda or something with all these different like, aspects of things. But anyway, here's a drawbridge. Break it down with a couple of arrows. Uh, and pull it, and... Hey, wait a minute, what? Okay, yeah, I had to throw a bomb at it afterwards. I'm pretty sure drawbridges just fall when you get the rope, so I don't know really what, what was going on there, but okay. Forest Dweller's Spear, lovely. I will replace something for it because I want to have all the chests actually empty. Alright, so now next step, we need to actually pass through these spiked balls. Once again, use Magnesis and just be gentle, otherwise you might kill yourself, so just blip blip. Plus, I- oh, no wait, you don't have Daruk protection because you're in a shrine. Never mind. I was gonna say, you always have Daruk protection if you're a little concerned, but you're alright. Lovely. Okay. Um, steps to nowhere. We'll come to that in a moment. First, I want to- whoa! Take care of this chest too. Don't mind me, that was not too gentle, but it's fine. Forest Dweller's bow as well? Okay. Apparently this place is a secret forest. Who'd a noon? Who'd a noon? Who'd a noon? Ooh, attack plus plus ten is actually pretty good. Do I have to be concerned about you? I think I might have to. Okay. The other one was quick shot with three things on it. Three, whatever. You know how these work. Quick shot or ten plus attack. I'm going to take ten plus attack because it's the most recent and I, I can't be bothered to switch. Right, so yes, just use Magnesis to build yourself a bridge and then build yourself a staircase. And also apparently a chest. Oh. Well, I see how this is going to be. You're going to be slightly finicky to make me earn this chest, aren't you? Is that going to... Let's find out! Okay, that works. Cool. Great. Um, we'll take you and drag you along that way. And then you, buddy, come a bit closer for convenience. Lovely. Ah, okay. Gold rupee, nice! Pretty easy to find, but I guess kind of tricky to do, maybe? I didn't find it too hard. Right, you go there, you go further than the last guy, but a bing <sighs> But I know! Of course you're going to put me right back where the chest is. Typical, okay. Just do that. I almost messed up again then, oof. And then then and then then, great. And then you can go, well... No, I don't even need to do that. Um, I can just go down to this guy, bring you over here, and I'm sold. Okay, never mind. I was slightly overcomplicating that in my mind. Staircase, oh, complete. The final bit we need to do, you hit this switch, you get a couple fiery lanterns, or, you know, fire arrow will do just the same, so I think I might just do that. And then let's make our final path open. Open sesame. It's a bit violent, but, you know, fire works too. There we go, and whoop! Here is the monk. Uh, is there any treasure? No, there's not. Okay, then let's go and get our spirit orbs. Whoop. 
So just a very simple Kung Fu Panda-esque obstacle course, basically. Right, with that one done, we're now going to go to the next southernmost one, that taking us to the west on Washer's Bluff. I'll see you over there. And now that we're here, what we need to do is we need to go atop this tallest mushroom. I'm not actually sure if we can do it in one go. You know what, let's find out. Can we do it in one go? We have full stamina. Let's find out. Hmm, what do you know? That was surprisingly simple. Just took two and a, two and a quarter uh, bars of health, or circles of health. Lovely. All right, now obviously there's something quite obvious we need to go to first, but let's read this book first. I leave here a record of my search for the ancient songs of Hyrule, Cass. The ancient song of Pago Woods. It seems that a song has been passed down through the ages in the Pago Woods area of Faron. The song references mythical creatures such as dragons and giant serpents. I wonder if such creatures ever existed, or perhaps they still exist today. The ancient song of the West Hyrule Plains. On the south side of the West Hyrule Plains, there is a bridge called Jeddo Bridge. Near this bridge, there are a number of circular rocks with holes in their centers. Partic peculiarly enough, these rocks are apparently mentioned in an ancient song from the area. It sounds rather odd, but I hope to find out more about this ancient rock song. The ancient song of Rabia Plain. Apparently, Rabia Plain in the northern part of Hatino is home to an ancient song about beasts. Rabia Plain is northeast of Kakariko Village. I'll likely stop by the village during my search for the song. The ancient song of Gerudo Tower. I've heard word that there is an ancient song about a tall structure called Gerudo Tower. I don't know where this Gerudo Tower is, but mysterious towers have popped up all around Hyrule recently. This Gerudo Tower may be the tower that appeared in the Gerudo region. The ancient song of Kalora Lake. Apparently there is an ancient song about the giant boulder in Kalora Lake in the Faron region. I hear that area is prone to violent thunderstorms. I'll need to prepare before I go searching for the song. The ancient song of Horon Lagoon. I hear there is an ancient song about a place in Laneru called Horon Lagoon. The winds in Horon Lagoon are supposed to be very intense. I may need to travel the area on foot. The ancient song of Hitano, or Kitano Bay. It seems there is an ancient song about an oddly shaped stone pillar in the odd w open waters of Hitano Bay. God damn it! His secret summer, something that was hidden there before the great hit calamity to be claimed by a lost hero. Why can't I we weed read? Ah! Not sure what's hidden there, but if it's me, <laughs> oh my god! But if there, if it's meant for a lost hero, it must be worth a fortune. The ancient song of Washer's Bluff. I hear whispers of an ancient song about the Night of the Red Moon, traditionally sung in Washer's Bluff. No one quite knows why the Red Moon rises, or what happens in the span of that night. <sighs> These are all the ancient songs that I have discovered. I will continue my journey, hoping the day will come when I pass them all on to the Champion of Hyrule. Done. Hood Lord, welcome to Cass's place. Let's talk to him himself, shall we? Oh, excuse me. Is that a bit rough on the ears? Oh. Ah, you've done well climbing all the way up here. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Oh. Excellent. Without further ado. Hmm? When the moon bleeds, I wonder what that means. May the light illuminate your path. Yes, under a red moon. This is going to be a little bit of a finicky shrine quest to do. It won't take too long, but yes, what we need to do is we need to stand on this pedestal bare. And by that they mean get naked. Literally, no sword, no shield, no armor, no nothing. So, um, let's get started. Alright, and now that we stand with no weapons, we are obviously, or of obviously, not so obviously, but we are also going to need to wait for a blood moon. This is where this shrine quest's a little bit finicky. We've got a lot of waiting to do. I recommend a campfire. Makes things a lot easier. Ah, <sighs> all 
right then, that's 21 fire arrows and an entire magic rod gone to teleporting the day to night and it's still not shown up. <clears throat> Do I even have anything else that makes fire other than just more from bonfire things? Oh lord. I have flint. I have lots of flint. We'll go with that. <sighs> Alright, this is the final flint. After this, there is nothing left. <sighs> and with that, this shrine is a bust. I spent an entire fire rod, which I think had durability up, to create the fire to teleport us to nighttime. That lasted a good few, maybe 15, 20 goes. Then I switched to fire arrows. I had 22 of those. Then I switched to flint, which is gone now, but I had 90 of those. So that's about 140, 130, 150, somewhere around there goes at this. I've, it's been four or five months in game, apparently. Just spent running backwards and forwards. I, I don't think I can make fire anymore. Do I have another fire rod in here? Anything? No. No, so what I'm going to do is you're just going to forget about this place. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to remember this place specifically and remember that I need to come back to it sometime. I'm going to leave a marker and if I don't get to get to it anytime towards the end of this one video, then I'll just move on to the other regions until a blood moon shows up and then we'll run right back here. Man, I was saving up those flint to sell off. Now all 90 were gone in Washer's Bluff. It really got washed away, huh? Anyway, next up, I guess, we're going southwest of the West Hyrule Plains, just north of the Tamiyo River. Let's go. Oh, also something I didn't add is that took so long that not only did it take like 140 tries, but I also had lunch in between, and uh, ugh, just nothing, ever. Blah. Damn you, Half Moon. Ugh. Right, here we are, right by the bridge, and on the eastern side of it, you will find, once again, Cass way up here on this little mound. What do you have to say? Oh! I did not hear your approach. I was lost in this song written by my late teacher. He passed away several years ago, you see, and this was the last song he taught me. Mm. Excuse me, I fear I may have gotten carried away. Nostalgia will do that to a person. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Excellent. Without further ado. Do you think the rings in the shape in the song refer to these oddly shaped rocks? And what of the shrine? There's a mystery to be uncovered here, that's for sure. And I get the feeling the truth is beyond my wildest imagination. May the light illuminate your path. All right, the two rings. You can probably guess what you need to do. Yeah. Now where you want to go is to this tiny little rock formation hidden way back here in the northwesternmost point. And then what you can do is very easily go for the one through there. Aim a bit above, because, you know, arrows do drop through gravity. And then, aim a bit higher. Do better than me. There we go. And that is the two rings done. Right, let's go see what Cass has to say. Help. Oh, what, are you being attacked by who? <laughs> the lacking benefits of not having any sound. Wow, that was quite the hit. Go you. Right, that's the end of your days. I have a wind cleaver better than, you know, the thing your boss had. Your, I guess, superior. There you go. That was stupendous. I suppose I should have expected nothing less. No doubt I shall see you again. 
May the light illuminate your path. All right, let's go. The Sheem Dagoz Shrine, or Dagoze. All right, moving in parallel. So, as you'll see, there are two buttons and a whole magic puzzle over in the distance. Pressing this one turns one orb, or one platform even, the other turns the other. And now we just need to do a crazy balancing act with the two of these guys. And hopefully have them both in the same slot. I messed up, but oh well. That was actually pretty good considering I just sort of half tried it, you know, without thinking straight. So right, then left. I think this worked for the most part. Then right again for this guy. There you go. And then left for the other. There we go. Wow, that that's pretty good considering that was just my second attempt. Take it. All right, now let's not actually get in the monk first because I do know of a treasure secret down here. Between the two platforms, you shall find not only a button, but a chest. Great Thunderblade. And this button just take, well, it would take us back if we actually had, you know, whatever. Did it really have to be designed to go off like immediately? Right, let's go to our monk. Right, now that that one is done, I can finally get that off our map. We're next going to go to the next northernmost one, or southernmost one. Just west of Hyrule Ridge, we're going right by the shrine. It's just a simple little shrine. A stable shrine, even. The Sha Loya Shrine. Loya? Loya. Aim for the moment. So what do you got to do? You'll see there's a ball bouncing up and down, doing its own little thing. We need to use stasis to throw it off of its course. Bing! And... Bing. I think there was actually... Oh, only one hit. Okay. That's step one. Doing so brings it down into a little pot, which flings us. Helpful because now we can actually access a couple of things. First things first, chest. Pretty easy to notice, right up in front of you, right by where the ball kind of was launched. Bada bing, oh, bada boom. Topaz, not bad, okay. And the next thing we need is over to the side here. There is a chest visible now, up very, very high. We need to use arrows to break the rope. Bada bing. Bada boom. Lovely. Falcon bow? Sure. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly not too crazy about bows, especially since I've got way too many anyway. And I better really. Or I use them a lot, but they don't break. It's not enough. Oh well. Right, and the final thing we need to do now that we've gotten our collectibles is activate the monk. In order to do that, we need to launch ourselves, freeze ourselves glide and then wait a minute where is it we need to launch ourselves from the one we activated and you'll see there's a little switch over here press that and the monk is now open for business apparently he's starting up a business all right nice and quick nice and easy makes sense it's only a stable shrine right up next we're gonna go just a little east of the tower up by the North Hyrule Plain. Not plains, just plain. Now supposedly it's in plain view from here. There is a shrine over there, but that is actually in the other region. We want to go in this massive crumple of whatever this is supposed to be. And only then does it slowly reveal itself. The Zalta Wa Shrine. Two orbs to guide you. This is actually pretty simple. It's a few things you need to realize. There's a button, there's another crystal button, and there's an actual orb and its slot. You could probably guess which one goes first, since it immediately fixes a puzzle for you. Doing that opens a gate to reveal the second orb. Now that's great. We need to now put this orb in its slot. Pretty simple to do. We need to first, though, press this button. The orb slot is behind the gate that's hiding behind the button, I guess. 
throw the orb in to actually get it activated. Uh, oh. I thought a moving platform came out, not the platform actually moves. Okay. Anyway, all you need to do now is hit the switch, if I actually have a weapon out that isn't my bow. There we go. Hit the switch, and you can now fly into this path, if you time it correctly. This then gives you access to a whole new path up on the next level, which by the way, this whole place looks pretty cool, the way it slides, up, slides along. It's not a, a massive asset, but I really like it. I don't know. And that takes us to our monk. Beautiful. But before you go, there is a treasure chest you can find down on this little extra land here. Alright, and next up we're gonna go to the next northernmost one, taking us to the center of Ludfo's Bog. This is the shrine that everyone actually remembers. So uh, let's get started. Alright, here is the bog. As you can tell, it has a very specific weather to it. The entire place is constantly facing rain and thunderstorms. It's actually pretty cool if you ask me. And also you can see all sorts of little mushrooms around it making it actually look different to the rest of the world. I really like this place. It's such a shame that it's an optional area. Like, this whole region is only really here for collectibles. There's not a lot of story here. I don't know. Anyway, welcome to the Thundra Plateau. This is going to be the source of our very next shrine quest. It's a bit more than just enter the place. Let's hear what happens. You who have reached this land of thunder, I present with you a trial. When the four spirits have been settled in their proper places, they will guide you to the hero's trial. Alright, yes, trial of thunder. As you can tell, it's very thundery here, so take off your metal equipment. I'm gonna... You think the thunder helm would protect me? I'm not gonna risk it, but um... Oh, I'm already good for bows. Uh, wow, almost all of my stuff is electrical on weapons. Great. And shields, I don't have one, so I'm fine. Cool, but I am going to put on the Thunder Helm anyway. Thunder Helm and nothing else, because it's somehow fitting. Right, there are four orbs that need to be put in their proper place. This one being the first. Nice and easily found right nearby. Wonderful. There are a couple others. They're a bit more hidden. This one, though... It's not too bad. This guy's just hidden up at the top of his statue. There we go. This guy is green flames, apparently, so... Whoa, hello. We're gonna put you in this guy, the southernmost statue, I guess. Also, that rusty claymore was literally just there to source a bit of electricity. That's pretty cool. Right, next one we're gonna go to is off to the northern island. This guy is a little out of the way of the plateau now. We're on a plateau, so we're on an elevated level, meaning you're going to really want to propel this thing onto the plateau, otherwise you're kind of screwed out of a job. First things first, though, we need to climb up to this guy. You can actually climb through the rain. You have to make Link do three specific grabs and then just uh, jump afterwards, and you can get it, but we have Rivali's Gale, so it would be a waste not to use it. Now, what I want to do... So I want to take it away from its original position. Oh, that worked very well in my favor. I wanted to put it there anyway. And then we're going to use stasis from here and an electrical weapon, which hopefully isn't going to kill us. Uh, let's find out how this goes. It's much better to hit it too hard than not hard enough, and doing it maximum at seven uh, hits is definitely going to get it on the plateau. So just don't, don't think you can overshoot it, because you basically can't. Now this guy is a big, sort of, a, a sunlight symbol, I think. I, I can't really tell. He goes into the westernmost statue. And to the east is our final orb, once again on another one of those statues. Oh, that works. It's literally designed to be like its own little pedestal. Right, now we're going to do the exact same thing again. I nearly actually get got shocked by lightning that time, so that was a little scary. But nope, we're all good. Also, there's a particular broken part of the plateau that's easy to climb up if you need it. Alright, and this is our final orb going into, I would assume, the uh, southernmost statue, because it's the only one we've done so far. Beep!
Alrighty, and that is the Trial of Thunder done, and this is the Toyasa Shrine. Buried secrets. So, everything is destructible here. Well, not everything, but a lot of things are destructible. We're gonna want to blow everything up. Doing so, really, uh, doing so reveals three things. First of all, a treasure chest underneath our starting position with some rubber armor. That's awesome. I'm gonna put that on to keep up with the theming. Oh man, I love that. Look at that. Anyway, we also get a metal cube right by the starting position. There's another treasure chest up on that pillar there, and there's a switch underneath this staircase. So, first things first, we want to use the metal cube to get up to this little staircase. Then it'll take us to some ladders and some more blocks that I'm going to break up in a minute. And that takes us to the monk that's closed away that we need to press the switch on to actually get open. Once again, use the metal block. It is your friend here. You can do it from here. And that opens the monk's gate. And if you want the treasure, you can just fly in from the top level. Actually, though I'm sure it is actually possible, that's not how you're supposed to do it. What you can actually do is play a game of Jenga. It's not attached to anything, so just knock it down to you. Simple. Oh. Alright, and now there's only one more shrine to technically do in this region, and it is north of Lindor's Brow, on this northern side of it. We're gonna go to the Hebrew Tower to get there. Also though, it's nice and sunny out here now, but I, I apparently didn't want to show that off. Oh well, you'll see it in the Koroks and Treasures video. Here we go. Technically out of bounds, but just not quite. We are right on the very edge down here. My marker was quite a bit off. It gave me quite the runaround. We want to be on this little like dip in the map. There's a couple of uh, coal mines for you, and the treasure, uh, the shrine even is hidden behind here. Ah, well, then let's jump on in. It is inbounds, just the entrance is not, because now you can see we're actually on the map. This is the Magnora Shrine. Oh, probably the best hidden shrine in the game. And it is a blessing. It's so hard to find. How couldn't it be? Nice, a dinky little silver rupee. All right, I will accept it. It's a nice, easy, quick end to the shrine montage. After spending like an hour running backwards and forwards on the thing for the blood moon and unsuccessfully, I think I need this quick end. Look at all those eights. Well, I mean, there's only three, but still. Okay, now with that done, We've done pretty much all of the shrines in this region. I'm going to leave this pin here and wait for a blood moon. I I can't wait any longer. Physically, I'm out of things to make fire. I've used up all my flint. I think I'm out of fire arrows too. Yep, they're all gone. Like, um, there's nothing else I can do, all right? I haven't got a fire rod and I'm not going to go grab one. But we'll come back to it at some point. So on that note, I am going to not end it off here. We need to cash these in. Hold on a minute. Now, believe it or not, the Ridgeland region is one of two places in the entire game where they don't have a goddess statue in it. Some places have two, but Ridgeland and Central Hyrule have none. So we're going to go to the other place where we had to actually stop rain from. First of all, we only have uh, heart containers left. What happens when I choose stamina vessel again? Your, your being, being overflows, overflows with vigor. vigor. There's, There's no, no need, need to, to increase, increase your stamina, stamina will further, further. idiot. idiot. Okay. We'll increase your heart containers, yes. All right, we have eight spirit orbs that translates to two whole heart containers. Let's go. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. All righty, now with our new health expansion, we'll do exactly that by going back to that optional area to take on all of the Koroks and treasures in the region. For now though, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care. And I'll see you in a bit.